section 4.5 homework number seven and number eight for number eight you only need to do experimental s1 so i experimental uh, uh, s2 i don't have it here but you don't have to do that okay so let's look at number seven um so your favorite store is having a 10 percent off sale okay which means you get um everything is going to be 90 percent of the original price so you pay 90 percent and you can assume you bought five items or whatever so the first let's say the first item you paid uh, this much money it could be this a right here means just represents the price of the first item uh, b means the price of second item because they, they may have different prices so maybe first item is uh, $25 second second item is like $19 and third item is like $3 and so all of these could be different numbers and um, the question is asking you where you get the same discount either way so uh, which two ways so when you calculate the price you could take 10 percent of the total of everything or you could take 10 percent of each item again um, when you take 10 percent off you the easier way is just do 90 percent of the original so for example if you bought something for a hundred dollars and you can take 10% off, which is um, $100 times 10%. And literally, that gives you $10. So you take knock $10 off, that gives you $90. So you instead of doing this, you could just do $100 times 90% um, off. Um, notice 90% literally it's 0 0.9. So you could do 100 times 0 0.9, that gives you $90. So it's the same it's uh, technically the same thing so when you explain this process here you could do that but uh, again you don't know how much each uh, the price of each item is so you don't have to use a specific number you could just use a b c d okay so for example um if you buy bought something for eight dollars it's going to be 90 percent of a if you buy something for b dollar uh, this much money b and it's 90 percent of b and so this is like taking calculate the price of each individual item but you could also add all of these together add the original price all together and then take a 90 percent off so little they're asking you whether doing this separately uh, or uh, um, take a 90 percent of each item is that the same as 90 percent of all together so um, try to think about the distributed property, see if, uh, if that can be applied here. So if it is, which property it is? I pretty much already kind of gave you the answer. Now, for number eight, uh, again, you only need to do S1, you don't need to do S2. So what, uh, what we are doing here, uh, they, were, they are asking, uh, I'm doing a simple example, like for example, if we want to find 80% of 140, and so we instead of doing 80 percent directly we could do 50 percent because 50 percent means half of 140 which is easy to calculate which is 70. so the the thinking the process is i can do 50 percent and then um, i can do another 25 percent because 25 percent is half of the 50 percent and so if we do 50 percent which gives us half of 140 that's 70. And then we do 50%, another, uh, we do 25% uh, of 140, which is half of the uh, uh, 70, that's 35. And then we can do 5% of um, 140. And notice 5%, it's like um, uh, divide by five, it's our fifth. So this is the process. So first we did div divide this by two, um, I'm sorry. We first we, we did a, uh, again, 100% is, use a different color here. So remember, what, uh, 140 is the whole, which is 100%. So 100% uh, is equal to 140. So if you want to get 50%, you're going to be dividing by two. 
If you want to get 25%, you take 50% divided by 2 again. And not this number, sorry, that number. And then um, if you want to get 5%, you would divide by 5. Maybe I should have just used a chart to show that, like the example we did in, in class. But they didn't ask us to do the short, uh, chart. They just table. They just ask you to do this. But if you need a little bit of help before you set up this, uh, this is what you can do. So 100% corresponds to 140 percentage in the corresponding amount. So we can divide by 2 to get first get 50%. So we got 70. And then divide by 2 again, so we get 25%. Divide by 2 again, we got 35. And then we can divide by 5, divide by 5 to get 5%, and then 7. And notice we need a 80, right? So 80, literally, it's like a 50% plus 25 plus 5%. Um, and correspondingly, you can add these 70 and the 35 and the 7 to get the answer. Because um, all of these actually add up to 80%, which when you add, add the corresponding amounts, that will give you the answer. But we didn't want us, and the question did not ask us to use the percent table. They actually ask us to write the equations. Um, so we need to use the equations here. Uh, so what we do is um, we um, first we're going to um, again your 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 question you follow the the student strategy is uh, it's kind of similar so you do fifty percent and then you do um, a five percent and uh, I think it's actually easier than my example and so to write the equations. So we want to do, we want to find 80% of this number, but we're going to break down 80% as 50%. Notice these are the percentages we have and the 25% and 5%. And then we use the distributive property to do distribute 140 to each of the percentages here. So we have 50% of 140, 25% of 140, and 5% of 140. And notice 50% of 140 is just half of 140. 25% is half of the 50%. And then 5% is, um, it's actually a fifth, one fifth of the 25%. Okay. And so again, notice what I wrote here is 25% uh, is half of 50%. And what about 5%? 5% is one fifth of 25%. Once, once you get the amount for 25%, um, you can get. So this is 50%. This one is 25%. And 5% is one fifth of 25%. Uh, so you're going to take 35 divided by 5, which gives us the 7 here. So we add these amounts to get 112.